People like this shit.
Not in the United States than in the United States. It was actually broadcast from over 90 different countries, translated over 50 different languages. So I always thank people from around the world that come here. I thank everybody, don't get me wrong. But I just think it's neat that people from around the world know a show Dallas, let alone a town called Dallas, because this town, this city, was not that big back in the day. Nothing you see here was here. All these houses was in the past 20 years. So thank you everybody for coming. Uh, it also was a very influential TV show, and you're probably wondering what that blue structure is over there, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Story behind that. Back in the 80s, before the internet, all you young people, okay? <laughs> we watched TV on a square TV that weighed about 400 pounds. <laughs> Dallas was on TV. South Fork came up for sale while they were filming it here. And an oil guy from Texas, he watched the show, he saw it was for sale, and he said, oh my God, I gotta buy it. So he brings that up from the Gulf of Mexico and he says, I'm gonna drill for oil. We're gonna have parties up top, I'm gonna make millions. The problem is there's no oil at South Fork. <laughs> that was only on the TV show. So he drilled for oil right there where that orange plug is, only got water, and he ended up going bankrupt because of it. Okay, that's, there's more to the story, obviously, but that's basically, I don't know, um, four miles an hour. Now, I want to apologize about the condition of these flags. If you're from around here, you know we, last month we had some really bad storms. It tore up our flag poles and our flags, and we're trying to get new flags in. It's just the supply chain is really slow. Now, the Fig Light building directly ahead of us, that's our event center. It's over 60,000 square feet, and we can accommodate almost any event you want. On the right is our rodeo arena. Now that was built for the 100th episode by Laura Mars Studios. And it's way too small for a real rodeo arena, but through the magic of television, it looks perfect. And because of its size, we don't do rodeos here, we do showdios. On the left, that pond over there, and yes, there is a pond, the water is just a little low. That's where the character of Bobby Ewing was laid to rest only to find out it was all a dream. Now we have lots of animals here at South Fork and they're all rescue animals with the exception of the horses we use on the trail rides. And some of the horses are yeah. going to be here to the left at the Mayor Motel. This is where the mares and foals are kept. And then as we make this turn, if you look to your left, you can see a couple of miniature donkeys up here. They're relatively new to South Fork. This building coming up on the left, that's the oil office. And across from it on the right, 
is where we're going to stop and we're going to go inside and take a look at Jock Ewing's car. It's a 1978 Lincoln Continental Mark V. It only has about 25,000 miles on it. take as many pictures as you want and if you want me to take a picture um, of you guys in the car I'll be more than happy to. Wow. I think you get two dead bodies. I think you might do it. It might be more than a couple of dead bodies. Uh -huh. You guys are in your thing? Cool? Yes, it is. 
those leather walls. Here is our gorgeous dining room. And here is Miss Ellie's kitchen. And here is that ramp. So be very, very careful. Come on down. Get your picture with JR and then head on down the hallway. You need some help there? You lovely ladies, get your picture taken together. <laughs> <laughs> So here is, there's JR and there's Mexico. Take all the pictures you want. There's JR and Mexico. Come on in. There's JR and there's Mexico. Pictures with JR, then there's Mexico. <laughs> The bathroom. Make sure you check that out. Every lady needs to see that bathroom. There were, there were no filming inside. No, no, no. I like it very much. I like it very much. I like it very much. Go ahead and check that out. Then when you're all done, we'll come back to the bathroom. Bye. Bye. Да, но я сейчас зашел на тренер. А Okay. 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 Okay.
September at the Sarfu Range. It's the third time when I came here, so I took my son to see it. Hope you like the <laughs> hope you like the show. It's kinda old for 2020. This is Sarfu Range. on the show. Nobody's really buried there. On the right, we have three miniature horses, and yes, they are full grown. Now I'm going to pull up just, get you guys just underneath these oak trees on the left, and it usually makes a very good picture of the back side of the house. Uh, 
that's usually a good picture with the sun high in the sky there. All right, we'll continue around the corner. And I'm gonna stop, you can see we have uh, one of our baby longhorns right here. I'll try to stop as close as I can to it so you can get a picture of it. He's about nine weeks old. And that's the mama coming over right now. She must be trying to protect him. And you can see that he's just starting to get his horns there. And just to let you know, the longhorn mamas are very protective of their, of their young. Now as we keep going, off to the left here, that full-size donkey, his name is Eeyore. He was sick for a while, but he's all better. I'm glad to have him back. And then we have a couple of llamas here. Those llamas' names are Lorenzo and Dolly. So you got Lorenzo Llama and Dolly Llama. So everybody say hello, Dolly. Hello, Dolly. Now, if you ever want to come back and ride some horses, we have over 200 acres to do it. And it all starts right here at the party barn. And then we end up where we're kind of started, on the right is our Mare Motel, and the left is our miniature donkeys.